But yeah, these are just some propeller guards for your Mini 4 Pro. But you can see they all come in individual pieces. They align perfectly with each arm. You can see it doesn't add too much width to the drone itself, but it just kind of works as a bumper guard. What's going on, beautiful internet family? My name is Dan Davis, and I'm the creative director here on danstube.tv, which is Australia's number one ranked drone YouTube channel. I'm also the course creator over on the Fearless Drone Academy, which is the ultimate online drone course for beginners. If you do want to pick up the drone course, make sure to use the code danstube to save some money over there. And in today's video, I've got my must-have DJI Mini 4 Pro accessories. So that's right guys, my must have accessories for this phenomenal drone from DJI. It's called the Mini 4 Pro. I've got the DJI RC2 here and the Mini 4 Pro. Over here, I've got a bunch of different accessories. By the end of the video, you will probably want every single one. There are so many exciting accessories out there for the Mini 4 Pro. But just to start off, we will start off with the one that's going to collapse everything. But this is the Fly More Combo here. So in the Fly More Combo, you do get yourself the drone, which is the DJI Mini 4 Pro, you get yourself the DJI RC2, and you get this awesome bag here, which does come with a bunch of accessories and some extra batteries as well. It's quite a large bag. You do get a bunch of storage in here, and you will see that it's all segmented off to put the controller. You get your little battery hub here, and you then have a compartment in there for the drone as well, which you can put here. In the top section there, you can go into here and put a bunch of other accessories if you want. So it's a great combo, well worth looking into. So it, it is a great deal, and it really does give you most of the things that you will need in a kit. If you do want to check that out, I will have a really cool like exclusive drone deal over on the D1 store. So check that out. That will be linked below for my Australian audience. And if you do want to save some money over there as well, you can use the code DANSTUBE on their website to save on some select items as well. Reach out to them directly, sales at d1store.com.au and they can help you out with some deals as well if you're looking for a few different things. Now, going back to what I've got here, a lot of these other accessories will actually be available on Amazon. So that will all be linked as well below because obviously if you're wanting to get most of this stuff, you probably want to find it pretty easily. It will all be linked below. I do have an Amazon shop where I actually do videos over there. So go and check that out because a lot of these products here I've done videos on individually on my Amazon shop. So check those out as well. But what I'm going to go into next is actually another case. This is a case by Skyreet, that's S-K-Y-R-E-A-T. And this is a great case. I actually really do like this case. It's got a different design, but it kind of serves a few purposes. So it kind of works as a briefcase design. You can pull that out, the little handle, and it will hold in its position, push it back down and it kind of collapses in. Or you can attach the strap and then you have a, a strap obviously as well. As you open it up, you will see there's some great compartments in here. Definitely works really well with the controller. You can also put the batteries in here as well. And then the drone, when it's folded up, will fit in there nicely. It's just a really well-designed bag. Nice breathable section over here to put a few other accessories. And you can put some propellers there and whatever else. But a nice sturdy bag and just a different design. I love how it kind of matches the aesthetic as well, that gray aesthetic, where the other bag is black from DJI. So this kind of fits with the aesthetic of the Mini 4 Pro, and it just stores the main things that you'll need in the kit. I'm just gonna move on to these, which are really cool, actually. But these are basically controller covers. So they're little silicon covers. You've got a few different designs. So I'm just showing the other camera here. We've got a black design here, We've got a gray design one here, and you can see they're very flexible. And then we've also got a red design here. So the red one's a little too bright for my liking, but I mean, some people might like that. It definitely, you're not gonna lose your controller that way. and it does work on the DJI RC2 and the DJI RC, the original RC. So you don't have to worry about that if you only have the RC2. But if you've got another drone and it does have the original RC, these work on that as well. So it's interchangeable. Really simple to install, kind of like a piece of clothing almost. You kind of just put it over the curves like so. Keep kind of dragging it around until it fits perfectly. There we go. So that's the design there. It hugs nicely, hugs all the right spots. You still have all the button layout available. You can still access the antennas on top, so that's not an issue. You can see the antennas are still accessible, nice and easy that way. Uh, and then as we flip it over, this whole middle section here is backless and it just holds over the sides here. And that's where you get a little bit of grip, which is very, very handy. It just means that you're not slipping all over the spot when you're holding onto the controller. 
It does feel nice, it protects it nicely, the controller itself, and yeah, you've got a few other color options, right? So it's like, if you don't want the black one, you can go with the gray one. So that's it there, and you can see matches the color very nicely when we look on the back. So yeah, check those out. They will be linked below the controller covers, I guess you would call them. Silicon design, nice and easy to take off and put back on again. Now, what we'll move on to now is a screen protector. This one again is from Skyreet. I've already actually installed one on this controller here, which is the DJI RC2. But I'll just kind of show you what, what it actually comes with. So it's a toughened glass film protective screen. They've got a bunch of different things on the packaging itself but it does have some nice instructions nice and easy to kind of follow through as you take everything out you'll see it just explains everything that you need to know about installing then comes with a nice little a little bag I guess with all of the the cleaning options in here so you have like the little sticky the wet wipes and then you have the dry cloth as well and then once you're ready to go you get out the screen protector itself it simply says back on it so very easy to install you would obviously pull that part off put it on align it nicely and then it will just attach perfectly you can see that i've installed this one i definitely have a little bubble in the bottom corner but overall fine you definitely want to keep the screen safe because otherwise you will have to buy yourself a new controller again all of these will be linked below so nice Nice and easy to find. All right, now we're gonna move on to some propeller guards here. Again, there's a bunch of different propeller guards that you can get on the market. This one here is from a company called BRDRC. I've got a few other products from them. They do some really cool stuff. But yeah, these are just some propeller guards for your Mini 4 Pro. Ideal if you wanna be flying inside. I would not suggest flying these or like using these while flying outside. It can be a little bit awkward because um, you know, there's a bit more drag then on the drone and it can pull the drone a little bit more. Not 100% ideal if you're flying outside, but perfect for indoor situations, especially if you're in like the real estate game. Something like this would be ideal, right? Because you just kind of align them, clip it on like so, find obviously the right ones to connect. But you can see they all come in individual pieces. They align perfectly with each arm. Make sure that you clip that in and then you literally just push this connection piece in here like so. And then there you can see what it looks like. So that's it fully connected on one side. You can see it doesn't add too much width to the drone itself, but it just kind of works as a bumper guard, right? So it's like if you were to accidentally knock into a wall or something like that, you are covered with this. And that's why I'm saying it's ideal for real estate because you can see that you're just gonna protect the drone, right? You're gonna protect the wall. You're not gonna cause any damage because it's gonna hit this before anything happens. Obviously the propellers can still get caught up underneath. And like I said, not ideal for outdoor type of environments because it does add a bit more of a payload and also a bit more drag when you're flying. But still very handy if you are in the space where you wanna film a bit more inside. Let's move on to some ND filters now. And these are always handy to get with your drone. And I've got a few to show you here. I'll just quickly also show you how to install the filters themselves. But I have a few kits here. So I have this one here, which is a two pack and it is a variable ND filter. So that means that you can adjust the ND filter with a simple movement, which is very cool. I'll just kind of show you this one. So as you open it up and see that you've got the two filters there, cool little filters, and you can just kind of twist them. I'll just show this camera over here. You can just twist it to adjust the ND. So very cool. This one is a, a two to five ND, and then we've got a six to nine ND. Really, really cool. Then we've got this here, which is like a six pack ND filter. Both of these two, the ones that I just showed you are actually from BRDRC, great company. Uh, you can check them out on Amazon. I will have those linked below. Similar kind of thing here. We've obviously got the little like see-through case here. So you can see exactly what you've got in your ND kit. This one here has got a bit more variety. You do have the CPL filter. You've got an ND8, ND16, ND32, ND64, and an ND128. And these are all PL filters as well. So great for all different scenarios. This one, both of those are great options if you're interested in some cool filters. But then also Skyreet as well have their own version. Uh, they have a few different ones. And this is their six pack, similar kind of design with the, the see-through case. These look really great as well. And we've got the ND8, ND16, uh, we've got the ND32, the ND64, and the ND128, as well as the CPL. Nice build quality on these. And I'll just show you how to actually connect it. I'll show you over here with this camera. So basically all you have to do is secure the camera and then just twist to pull off the filter like so. And then to connect the next one, I don't know if I've got this on the right way. You just kind 
to put it on an angle, make sure that it just drops into place and then just twist it the other way and you have installed a brand new ND filter. It's that simple to connect it up and then to remove it. Again, secure the camera, twist, remove that one, then go on to the next one, put it on an angle and twist to secure that. So very simple to go between the filters. And like I said, I've got a few different ones here that will be linked below. We've got Skyreet who have got a few different versions and then we've got DRC who have a few versions as well. Yeah, all of these do come with micro uh, fiber cloths, which are very, very handy because at any point you are most likely going to touch the filter accidentally, or you're gonna to touch the camera system accidentally as you're changing filters. To be able to wipe it off is a must, but they all do come with their micro uh, fiber cloths, which is very handy to have for sure. We're coming into the final few products here that I have to show you. And these accessories are still great and well worth looking into. The first one is specifically for your controller. Now this is something that a lot of people love and it is very handy to get. This one here I love because it's very, very simple to connect and that's what's uh, huge about this one. I love the design of it, super high quality. This will be linked again below in the description, but it basically comes with these little screws that you can see here and these screws simply screw in to the base of the controller. So literally all you have to do is just line it up like so and you just screw it into the base like so. And there are a few different designs out there. You can get ones that have like full brackets on the base. I like these little ones because they are a little bit more subtle. And basically the way it works is it's literally just this. This is all it is. It's just a little screwing mechanism with a little hole and then you use your little clip to clip into the hole and then that's how you secure it. Very simple design and like I've kind of mentioned throughout the video, a lot of the accessories do work with the RC2 and the original RC. So that's it there and then you just clip it on like so and now you've got yourself a legit lanyard. This one just fits perfectly around your neck. Super high quality, well worth it, because obviously you can just cruise around like this, have it connected on, you don't have to worry about holding it, and straight when you're ready to go, you pull it out, but it's not too awkward in any way. It doesn't knock you around, or it's not uncomfortable, or anything like that. Though so this one is great, because it is a bit more subtle, and it works perfectly. I love the actual mechanism to connect it as well. And now for the next one I will show you is this actually, which is some landing gear for your DJI Mini 4. This is from Skyreet again. And this one works perfectly well and just gives you a little bit more clearance with your drone. You can see over here that the drone doesn't have too much clearance off the ground, right? The camera system doesn't have too much clearance so with something like this, which, you know, feels like almost a 3D printed design, which you kind of come to expect nowadays, it looks like ski gear as you pull it out, it looks like a sled and it's nice and simple to connect. There's little like hooking mechanisms that hook in and then it just holds onto the side there and that's it connected, that simple. And you can see it just gives it a bit more clearance from the camera touching the ground, makes it a little easier to land on debris. You would definitely want to avoid it at all costs, trying to land on rocks or sand or anything like that. And I will show you a landing pad very soon, which is what you would want to put down as well. But something like this just makes it a little easier and all the cutouts are still available, right? You can see um, that all the cutouts are still available for the light and the sensors and everything. It doesn't intrude on any of those. And then when you're ready to fold it down, you just fold it down like so and it clips away nicely. Definitely worth checking that out if you're in the market for some landing gear. And again, all of these will be linked below. This is the final accessory, final must have accessory for your DJI Mini 4 Pro. And it again is from Skyreet and this is a landing pad. But the reason I love their landing pad, firstly, you get a little bag that reminds me of a gym bag. But then on top of that, you get the high quality, super high quality landing pad that is a great size. So you can see here, it houses the drone perfectly. You've got a little bit of room if the drone kind of drifts a little bit forward, back, left or right. But it's also a reversible design. So depending on if you want the orange side or the black side, you can swap it around and it just looks great, right? So super high quality mat, a landing pad, folds away nicely, no issues at all with the quality. I just really like how this all works. Well worth checking out for sure. So hopefully I've helped you out. I've just gone through so many accessories. I'm gonna clean up the room now. <laughs> but they were all of my accessories, some really cool ones. Like I said, everything will be linked below. Check out the D1 store, check out my Amazon page, check out all these products that I've mentioned if you're in the market for any of them. 
well worth it. They're all high quality, must have accessories that I've been using now for a while. And these are the ones that I would recommend. You know, I've tested a bunch of different ones. These are the ones that I would suggest to people who have got themselves the Mini 4 Pro. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you in the next video and peace out. Thank you.